Well, John, second home win of the, the season. Three points, you must have been happy today. Yeah, it was because, you know, Ian are packed with quality. And yeah. I'm delighted that Ian's doing such a great job at Ian. I'm delighted to see Ian doing really well because they're a big club. Um, and they've been down in the lower leagues for too long. And mm. I think they've been sensational this season. There's a, a freshness about their play. There's a sharpness about their play. Um, they've got a really good uh, team unit. And they, they all know their jobs. And, and it was one day when you looked at both team lineups today, the amount of players missing was incredible. You know, we've got five missing, Air had five missing, and you're wondering what kind of game it was going to be. And I thought it was a terrific match. I thought Air carried a lot of threat in the early stages with, with Muffet and um, uh, with Muffet up front, sorry, mm-hmm. with um, his strike partner mm-hmm. whose Muir. name is yeah. annoying me at the moment. Muir. Muir, Craig Muir, of course. <laughs> uh, centre forward, as you know him. But uh, 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 Craig Muir and, and uh, Michael were causing us all sorts of problems with their movement and getting them behind. And we need a couple of good you know, a bit last minute defending to keep them out but we grew into the game again we hit the post and that's been the story of the week we've played well missed chances and not had the rub of the green and in the second half I thought we, we bossed it a wee bit more in the second half got our goal and then the nerves got on last week and lost a late goal at County but the, the boys dug in and, and I must give praise to Carl Marco playing right back and, and Jamie McCart climbed out sick bed uh, to play today and Liam Poor played with the flu because we were virtually down to the bare bones but I think it shows both teams will be there or thereabouts when, when the business end of the season comes. Yeah, I think, you know, the, okay, Queen of South, 1-4-0, Ross County, that puts them above you. You would have thought today with your win, move things about. Well, you, um, you, you, don't, know, you don't know, because it's that kind of league. As I say, we played terrific against County and couldn't believe we lost the match. Yeah. Um, and then against Queen of South, we were terrific again and then lost, just switched off for a minute yeah. and we lost the match. Which And that's what we're bemoaning, because had we won those games, you would have been sitting in a scenario right now where County and Air would be on 36, ourselves and Dunning at 35. Yeah. Um, but that's the nature of this league. If you mm-hmm. switch off, I mean, I think Air have one in five now. Yeah. And, and yet you look at that, they're capable of being anybody in this league, yeah. as I've shown ah. already this season. So, you know, you just can't you just can't call it. It's just about yeah. who can, like today, as I say, we've dug out a 1-0 win uh, today, whereas, you know, we should have won it last week, should have won it the week before. And that's the difference between uh, being on... Well, 36, 39 yeah. points where Air and County are, and being on 29 points where we are. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Well, Ian, a good game, but a disappointing 1 0 win. Uh, what's your thoughts? Uh, I wish it was a 1 0 win. Oh, sorry, 1 0 defeat. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it was a good game. I thought it looked like the uh, one goal was going to win it. I thought we started the first half and the second half really well. We had some good chances, but it, you know, I think Inverness deserved to win. They just shaded it. Um, it's the way things are going for us just now. Injuries isn't an excuse. Our team was still good enough to, to, to go and win. You know, there's a couple of boys that are lacking that sharpness. I think you could see that, but it um, was a real opportunity for us to, to go back to it. Uh, we know how hard it is in Dumfries. Um, so we'll have that opportunity again on the week on Friday at Somerset Park. Yeah. Obviously next Saturday we go away from league action. Are we going to see some of the injured players back? Well, I hope so. I'd like to think uh, Shankland, uh, Liam Smith, Andy Murdoch will be back, obviously, and possibly Mark Kerr. I'm not too sure about Jamie and, and Alan Ford. So a lot of players, and it's yeah. four or five of big players. So. Obviously, we're in the middle of the middle of January now. Transfer window. Is there options for bringing players on? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, if we can get people fit, I'd like to bring one in. But I'd also like to put maybe one or two in loan for experience, mm-hmm. um, and that's something we'll look at in the next few days. Yeah. So obviously, we turn our attentions now to the, the Scottish Cup next Saturday, live BBC game, Open Lake Talbot. Are you going to change things around? Listen. <laughs> We need to play a really good team because they're a good side and it won't be easy. It'll be they're at home and it'll be a tough, tough game. Yeah. And uh, you know, we'll have to be right at it if we want to win, and, and that's what we're going to try and be. We'll need to try and have a real hard working week in training uh, and be ready to go uh, mm-hmm. next Saturday. Because you know, although we've got the opportunity against the DNA the following Friday, Saturday all the matters. Now we need to go and win and get in the last 16 years.